friends welcome to my channel so in the today's lecture we are going to discuss spiral model till now we have discussed classical waterfall model classical waterfall iterative waterfall prototype model and incremental model Yes. 
we work on the larger projects okay and you have got the knowledge of all of the requirements of your customer but it is not that you will not face any problem in meeting the needs of the customer requirements you will face lot of difficulties lots of problems okay so what happened in the second phase in the first phase your software developer has got the complete idea of your project now software developer is trying to find out the risk what are the problems that we might face while making the software product okay it is not easy to build a larger project easily you might have to face lots of problems so in this phase we are trying to analyze all of the problems we are trying to know what are the various problems we might face in our software product and how we can resolve that problems what could be the possible solution to resolve the problems occurring in the designing of your software okay so in this second phase we are trying to analyze the problems that which kind of problems we might face in making of our software product okay what you can do you can build a prototype you can build a prototype you can build a dummy product okay you have not originally made your software product but you are just making the trial version of your software product so that you can find out all of the problems that you might face when you will be originally making your software product okay next now we have got the solution of all of the problems okay next the third step is development and testing okay so what happens in development and testing we are now going to do coding okay we will be doing coding and we will be testing our software product whether there is any error coming or not okay so we will be doing coding and testing in this phase now you have implemented your product you have made your product in the third phase now what happens in the fourth phase in the fourth phase you will be giving your software product to your customer okay and your customer is going to evaluate your software product it is going to give you feedback okay it is going to check whether software is right or not or there should be some more updations okay or there should be some more functionalities should be there okay it is going to give the complete feedback to the software developer team okay they again will do the planning okay if your customer says i need more functionalities in my software product then again you will be doing planning then again you will be going to do risk analysis so this phase are getting repeated that's why it is a spiral model firstly you will go to first step second third fourth again you will go first second third and fourth you this process keep on repeated unless your customer gets satisfied okay unless your customer gets satisfied you will keep on moving in this spiral model okay so we have discussed various kind of models what do we want 
at any point of time your requirements get changed so you have to change in your designing in your coding so that is a headache so we are trying to find out some possible ways in which you can manage the changing requirements of the customer okay in this firstly you have got the requirement from your customer you have built that product and now your customer is checking the product if if it need more functionalities again you are trying to add more functionalities into this project okay so this this is keep on going unless your customer gets satisfied okay if your customer say i need more functionalities you will doing again planning of those functionalities of those new functionalities again you will be trying to check out the risk if there is any risk present or not or you are getting any problem or not okay so this is how our spiral model work okay in this model you are able to meet the changing needs of the customer because after a certain period of time your customer is going to evaluate the product okay your customer is going to evaluate the product again and again so spiral model is a good model if you want to manage the risk okay so i hope that you are clear with spiral model if you have any inquiry i have mentioned to my email id in the description box you can contact me on that email id so if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel